hello everybody here is Georgia I just want to show you a new enclosure I have made DIY myself um, I want to show you the difference between uh, the sizes so this one was her old enclosure for my brachypelma hamori this is the old enclosure and the upgrade is quite big uh, now I keep crickets here the upgrade is bigger I know the enclosure is a little bit bigger but she has a lot of nice things to hide and she seems to like it even though she's still getting used to she's in the process of getting used to it uh, I want to uh, go through for those who would like to do a cheaper DIY enclosure uh, I want to show you what I did maybe it will give you more ideas for your own enclosure uh, also the terrarium of this size would be possibly pretty expensive that's why I've chosen DIY to do it myself uh, the size of this if you see it's up to uh, elbow and half so yeah it could be around 50 possibly 50 centimeters 50 60 centimeters something like that on the white uh, normally this uh, container is the the big container I don't know how many gallons it has at the moment but it usually is like that yeah it stands up like this is the deep one but I've chosen to use it uh, on the sideways okay this is the end you see the wheels were supposed to be here but I took them out so um, this enclosure uh, has cost me the container was around uh, 12 12 euros 12 13 euros and plus the decoration the substrate um, all the little bits and pieces I had at home so uh, if you buy them it will be just a euro uh, also you can buy them uh, in Ireland you can buy them in two euro shops as well uh, I am sure you can buy them in any hardware stores for very cheap so it's not as expensive okay I'm gonna show you what I did um, I'm gonna lead you through it so what I did is I I cut the original lid just to the, uh, basically a quarter of an entire lid and the three quarters of the lid I replaced with a plexiglass this is the plexiglass I cut it in the size of the entire uh, the rest of the enclosure and I I fixed this um, lid to the container by a screws. Some of you who has some um, a good uh, quality hot glue gun or any kind of silicone uh, could do as well. Some uh, transparent sil silicone could do as well. But I didn't. Uh, I had a glue gun, but I. It's not a great quality, I suppose. I just bought in the store, but it doesn't seem to work, or I don't know really how to do it fast. So that the problem with the hot glue gun is that the hot glue really uh, goes quickly; it dries very quickly. So until you manage to glue entire thing, the rest of it was drying out already. So I couldn't make it. But the fact is that my hot glue gun wasn't really working properly so if your hot glue gun is uh, quicker maybe it could work or transparent silicone is uh, quite okay as well what I've chosen is just to drill holes on the sides here 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 and here and I just fixed it with the screws okay 
that's all. Uh, same thing, I drilled the holes to use of uh, these ones. I don't know the name in English, but you can uh, find them online as well. Um, plastic transparent. Uh, in that case, you could use the hot glue gun. Uh, for these, it didn't work really well for me to put a hot glue gun for the metal. So I drilled the holes and I fixed it like that. I drew the holes as well in the plexiglass and I fixed it. So basically it opens like this, okay? It opens like this and it's pretty flexible. You can use it very well. What I've used for the door on the top is just some magnet. This is a magnet from old wardrobe. So uh, any similar magnet could do. And what I've used here, I've used a big head screw, uh, which I've uh, fixed on the other side with these. Again, I can't remember the name in English. Uh, it doesn't focus for some reason. I use this one is some kind of uh, plate from for the bicycle. So you can use anything just to uh, use your own imagination to use. But basically what it holds is it holds on the magnet. So it's pretty good. It's very hard so you don't have to worry. Um, there are magnets of a different strength. So again you can use whatever you wish. It's just an idea for you. I did a cross ventilation. In the future I'm going to... By now it's very hot, so I don't need it. But in a big winters, uh, the place where I am at the moment temporarily has a winters like as much as minus twenty degrees. So, uh, in case the there not gonna be enough warmth, I'm gonna put a little lamp, heat lamp over here on the top. For now, I kept the space. Okay. You see how long is this? This is my hand. That's a long, that's a length. I put a, a cross ventilation. I put a set uh, of uh, holes here, two rows here, two, uh, three rows of holes over here. I drilled it with a driller. So again, I put them over here on the side and over here for the side because the Enclosure is very big. I've put a uh, four sets of uh, air holes so that it has a good ventilation. Seems to work. I keep having my uh, temperature probe. Temperature probe is great. Humidity is very good as well for brachypelmas. Um, Hamori, you would like to have around 30% of humidity um, and 70% of dried. Um, dry substrate. I usually use very dry substrate and keep the water dish. Uh, sometimes on the bottom I let a dump a slight uh, moisture and I mix it together. Okay, to show you how I did the interior inside. What I did with uh, on the back, what you see is the background I've handmade as well. It's made of a styrofoam. So this is literally styrofoam, which is um, painted brown. You can want to use a non-toxic paint, non-toxic paint for children. Nothing very um, toxic because it could be affecting your tarantula. I hot glue gun. I just made. It's just my DIY. I know somebody might not like it, but I couldn't really get inside. And as, again, I had to improvise because my hot glue gun is not really w good. So I drilled. Ho I drilled holes here, 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 here. So I put uh, through this hole. I could put the hot glue gun, hot glue, and just fix it at the same time so it holds. Also I fixed it on the bottom with a hot glue gun. What uh, The way I did the uh, background, I, as I said, I cut a styrofoam, I painted it brown from the back and the sides. I left the front white because I don't want my tarantula really get in touch with the paint, even though the is on the side but the front would be pretty much too, too much for the tarantula so I kept it white 
what I did is I used hot glue gun to fix the pebbles you see and she likes it I fixed the pebbles different types and shape shapes of pebbles I made uh, I put a little hose I did dig a little hose into the substrate uh, into the styrofoam so that um, the pebbles can be placed inside of those holes and it holds it better I fixed it with a hot glue gun I've made some um, also some shapes and forms in the styrofoam so it's not just plain and it's not just like a, a straight so it has little holes so she can hold on it um i've bought i bought like a plastic plant and i fixed them with a hot glue gun on the top the brown is basically the substrate on the silicone what i did uh when i had the pebbles yeah already glued i've put the around all all the surface of the styrofoam i i put a silicone again you want to use a non-toxic silicone which doesn't have a very bad smell a very bad toxin so you just uh choose i yeah i've chosen the basically the least toxic uh, silicone and I put it all over then I put a substrate on the top so that it has all it's all covered by the substrate and then I let it dry for 24 hours outside on the sun um, then I put those plastic plants and I fix them on the top okay then what I wanted to do because the uh, enclosure is pretty high for her if I didn't put enough substrate she could be fall keep falling because a uh, when the tarantula has changed uh, enclosure most likely there will be climbing walls they will be uh, walking around because they want to get used to the enclosure they will not feel uh, they will not sense their pheromones of their own web so if the substrate is different so they more likely will be climbing the walls until they put their own silk around so and use the pheromones so what i did basically i did little hills so that all the sides are not as high okay here is little curve you see so i know for sure she cannot climb here at all so what i need to think of is up to here okay she uh, tends to climb so what i put is i put um moss you can buy in pet store i put a moss all over the side so that if she decides to come and happens to fall she falls on the soft and she cannot fall really high because it's really close plus the holes she's using to help herself to keep steady there on the side so it's very good she cannot anyway climb on the ceiling because she's terrestrial tarantula she cannot do that i saw her trying obviously um just like with her legs here touching touching but she cannot so she never tried okay what i did because she's a mexican red knee i've used a mexican theme so i've used a pot you can't see really the paint but it's all painted by mexican nature I bought it in the store and I use the same color of a plants as well so it looks a little bit uh, nice and colorful for I use the stone frog just for the decoration I put in the middle so that she has no way to fall on it in in case I put a water dish always clean water okay um, they always need to drink they always need to have a water dish okay those who saying that is not uh, needed it's not true tarantula needs a water dish they can go off for weeks even months without food but without drink they cannot okay they can dehydrate and then they can die so always make sure you have a water dish make sure your dish is not too big so she doesn't fall in it it should be always at least a big as much as her legs spread so that she uh, can hold herself on the legs normally they just uh, go like this and put the head there so they but if they climbing over the top of a dish always make sure it's not big 
too big that she da cannot really slip and fall okay what else i did is i basically you see i put uh, her house in the very bottom is like a little hills like this so all the hills are high enough for her not to climb and if she wants to climb she's very safe up to here it's basically the way she can climb then the curve starts and she cannot get past it so you see it's very very uh small uh height so she is safe on all the sides okay she doesn't have tendencies to climb the door which is good um if your uh, tarantula has the tendency um it's good to hide and it make it higher uh, or put some some kind of uh things that will hide it a little bit more because if she, if they fall uh, more than 10 inches they can hurt themselves pretty much the terrestrial uh, they don't have the abilities to climb okay what else I did so I put a moss from the pet store I put a plants I've put a little temperature probe here and I put a moss on the top of it with a hot glue gun in case you would like to fall on it then it's all soft okay I have a hydro meter from a pet store but the pet store hydrometers are really crap they don't really work so um i have it here anyway i just recently bought it and i'm still watching it and seeing but usually they don't measure well so i put the pebbles in the middle of there so she feels that um she has something under the feet because some of the tarantulas they don't really like the soft substrate it's always good to pet pat, pat it a little bit so pat it a little bit so it's not so soft she my tarantula she really loves grass and um, sometimes i bring her out on the garden to walk and she really loves the scent of a grass so she really likes the the soft uh, moss that's good that's uh, good for her as well Everything is pet friendly and most of the things are bought in the pet store and the plants and moss and substrate all these things. The only things which are not from a pet store is my uh, uh, flower pot and the temperature probe, the rest and the frog but the frog has nothing in it it's not painted it's great and this one seems to be very safe as well oh sh sugar i think i okay mm. now she had a she had a bad web there and i kind of broke it poor babe anyway it's there <laughs> so yeah for the few days when you uh, change the enclosure, let your tarantula set it down, let her to do her webbing, try not to mix it much, try to do the decoration the way you want and then try to leave her, okay? Leave her for a few days a week, uh, try not to do changes in the enclosure because she really needs to set it down and stop being stressed. It's natural behavior of the tarantulas that they really have a tendency to be stressed if you put them in the new enclosure or if you put them with a brand new substrate okay because they don't understand why you took them off their house their own house with all their pheromones and put them some somewhere else they they may be suspecting there is not a spider they may be suspecting there is a, a danger so it's really important to let them get used to it before you start um, mixing up or changing uh, other than that um, let them put their own web their own sing silk because with the silk and with the web they put in their own pheromones or hormones on the on them on the surface and on the enclosures and they feel it's their home okay so that's all with the enclosure let me know what you think about it if you have any questions or comments uh please uh write a comment down below and i will answer it works pretty well for her she seems to like it she keeps walking around now she settled there on the styrofoam and she's really enjoying she was even washing herself and uh, washing herself on the top so she's enjoying it she's been here and there down on the on the ground already put the webbing around a little bit but 
still not as often because I've only placed her there yesterday so she still needs a few days or week maybe to settle my tarantula um, daisy rose is pretty good in um, acclimatizing or accommodating to a new place she's really uh, cool so I give her a few days and she should be fine but some spiders are more skittish some spiders are more nervous so maybe they may have more days or weeks even months sometimes to um, to get settled in the new environment new place okay it's good to put a uh, soft uh, plastic plants on the sides as well for a reason of fall again if she falls or if she wants to climb she has loads of stuff to hold on to or if she falls she falls on the soft blanket so it doesn't really matter she cannot really hurt never put anything sharp or anything sh uh, anything hard on the sides on the edges in case she would fall she could hurt her abdomen and that could make her die she could bleed out okay she has most on internal organs in the abdomen so you don't want that to happen so what you see in my enclosure that i have all edges with a soft plant soft moss this is really soft like a cotton so she can't really hurt the water dish is pretty far so she falls she falls over here the frog is very far if she falls she falls over here so she cannot really fall unless she climbs and she's not a climber she's terrestrial so that's never gonna happen so if that helped you or if um if you have any question about uh, details of the diy don't hesitate and just contact me write me a comment down below and i will help you as much as i can okay so i hope you enjoyed my video if you did enjoy please like it or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about my daisy rose and uh let me know what you think okay so have a beautiful day and i'll speak to you again bye